Good afternoon, everybody. Today is November 13th, and welcome to my channel. I'm a single disabled mother of four children, two girls and two boys. My boys are twins. I live in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and I like doing these food bank videos to show what I receive from the different food banks that I go to. Um, my rent just increased and now I'm putting more money from my child tax credit towards rent and I used to have it that I could have $75. I would save $75 from the first and pay half my rent and then on the 20th when child tax would come in I would pay my remaining money and then I would have $150 left and not just rent but my utilities my insurance and some other miscellaneous bills that we have that aren't covered by um the health insurance and stuff like that so now i still have to, i had to redo my budget and starting on the first i'll still have my 75 dollars that i'll be keeping on the first but on the 20th when my child tax credit comes in and stuff I'm only gonna have maybe if I can really push it an additional $75 so it's a huge hit but there's nothing much I can do about it um, a roof over the head is the priority every single day and then the bills being paid and then lastly food so I actually use the food banks to feed my family. And sometimes we get, you know, a special treat, which you'll be seeing today. <coughs> but usually we, it's a choice of chicken or ground beef. I can't take fish because of um, allergies that I have with my children, with uh, anything that's seafood related. So... And we're fine with that. We're happy that we're not going hungry. We're humble and we really appreciate every single thing we receive. If you're a subscriber to my channel, I'd like to welcome you back. If you're someone who just came by or just accidentally found my channel or someone who comes and goes, please consider subscribing, liking my videos, and leave comments, ideas, and suggestions. Also, before I start my food um, pantry haul here and show it to you, um, remember there's the snowsuit fund. So if you don't have finances to buy your children snowsuits and they're in need of new snowsuits because they've outgrown or the hand-me-downs are worn out, consider the snowsuit fund. Um, I actually got my snowsuits for my children. I paid $10 a piece for a beautiful brand new snow suits and they were also given some tube scarves and mitts wonderful thank you i appreciate it also if you haven't registered for the food hamper with the caring and sharing program consider doing that um also um that's for people who again it's income related and household based on your household numbers but it's something to check out if you are struggling and cannot and do not think you can provide a Christmas supper. Um, they'll bring you a Christmas hamper. Sometimes it's ch turkey. Sometimes it's a chicken hamper, depending how many, again, people are in your household. Sometimes it would be a ham hamper or a roast beef hamper. And then um, sometimes, depending who is the sponsor for your family, um, it may include toys and some treats for Christmas. Um, the third thing is the Toy Mountain. Remember to register for that. If um, it's for, again, household incomes up to a certain point, and if you're, again, struggling and you don't have toys for Christmas Day for your children, consider that. And, again, you can call 211 or 311 to be registered. Um, churches are doing their own thing. Some churches are working with caring and sharing. Most food pantries are working with caring and sharing. The odd one is doing their own, but they're also doing extras in addition to caring and sharing. 
So some are referring their clients to Karen and Sharon and Toy Mountain and Snow Zoo Fun. But they're also giving gift cards out. Some are not even having anything to do with those programs and they're um, doing their own thing. So talk to your local food pantry, talk and find out what they're doing. And by end of this month, the closings will be happening for all the programs. But I strongly suggest everyone to, to go out and consider registering for them to see if you're eligible. Um, I'm ready with the Karen and Sharing Christmas hamper. You can only do one. You can't do a whole bunch. So we are with one of them. I know South Asian Army is doing stuff as well. Um, so there are many ways for a family to get referred over to them. And if you are struggling with food, consider calling 211-311. Um, I will leave the descriptions of where to go for everything I already spoke about. But also leave in the description the link for... Um, to find food and there's also a group you know how I used to say there's a group called um, food security for all Ottawa they changed their name and the reason the lady did is because people are mixing her group up with another group called food for all Ottawa so she changed her name from food security for all Ottawa to food resources and security Ottawa and the reason she did is because she was getting a whole bunch of backlash from people and they were confusing her with that group. Also, um, she doesn't allow abusers in her group and there's quite a few abusers in that group. So she will not allow them in the group. Um, anyway, it's a something for people who need to belong to a group. Um, it has all kinds of resources like the things I've been talking about with the food pantry, with the housing. Um, she can do things, she has resources up with the housing, food pantries, um, snow suit fund, backpacks for school, you name it. It's always in her her um, Facebook group. So I strongly suggest if you're in Ottawa, consider registering to that too, because it's a wonderful amount of resources that she has and she updates it um, weekly. Like she'll go through it and she will update it every single week. So this food haul is from my local food bank. Um, and I didn't put out and I forgot to bring out the cookies. Because you know how my local food bank always gives us cookies. And so I forgot to bring that out and the, the granola bars. But you'll see what we received. It's absolutely blessing. Like I said, I'm humble, I am blessed, I am so grateful for this food. It feeds us and I can't wait to show you the super treat we received regarding meat. Like this is just amazing and I'm going to make it work for our whole family. Because like, why not? I, I just, I'm, I'm speechless. I thank my local food pantry, I thank Ottawa Food Bank, I thank the donors whether they donated the food or donated um, monetary funds to make this work. Um, thank you. Also have sad news because I mean it's going to be really hurting me. My local food bank is closing down. Um, they don't have funds. They have so as they'll be keeping providing food as long as they have funds but once the fund depletes they won't be able to. Um, the lady that's in charge explained it to me that you have to be self-sufficient for one year and then you can apply to the food central office, which is the Ottawa Food Bank. And then after that, then you go into a partnership with Ottawa Food Bank. Well, Ottawa Food Bank has shortages, but also their, um, the pantry, the, our, my local food pantry itself is, um, um, th things are slowing down so they're not getting as much food and they're not getting as much donations whether it's monetary or food wise and the ever increasing people that are demanding food they can't keep up so they said like t the, normally they would get around 200 people today there was around 400 people 
for food registered and she didn't she said they didn't they don't they can't feed everyone so they had to cut everything in half and i still received a lot of food but she said i only got half of what i should have gotten because of the demand and i'm like i'm humble i'm grateful don't worry about it i mean a little bit of something is better than nothing and she was so happy when i said that and i'm like I don't need everything so there are things like cereal that are not in this haul because I don't I have cereal and I'm going to another food pantry anyway later this week so I'll get what they don't have from that pantry but when you see this I mean they stock me up so anyway in short they're gonna try to make it through till end of January but they're not sure if they're gonna be able to she said for sure till end of December but they're hoping till end of January so I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna show you here okay so we received two of these Gatorades and she was going to give me a whole box at 12 and I said you know what my two youngest are going on field trips this will be a nice treat for them on their field trip. So just give me two. And she was like, are you sure? Because I can give you a whole case. We're giving people a case. I said, no, this is, this is enough. Um, for canned stuff, I received a can of pears, a can of chili, two under, under here, two tomato um, soups, a can of beans, two cans of um, chicken noodle soup, um, two cans here of vegetable soup, a can of corn, another can of beans, a can of ham, um, a container of peanut butter, some beef bouillon, another tomato soup, and diced um, tomatoes. Now, normally I would have double of this, but and I'm I'm happy like I mean this is this is we're good we are good so thank you for this stuff now this is a special treat that I was telling you about received four burger patties we received this little pork roast and get this she gave me an extra ground beef usually I get two or three but she gave me four today because I wasn't taking stuff as much so I am so grateful. Thank you. And we will be using this. So when I make these burger patties for supper, I'll open one of these up and I'll make them into extra patties. So we'll have enough patties. This, I will make it work for one full supper. Um, I can make this work for the five of us. And I mean, we'll just, you know, we'll get chunks of the, and I'll make it so that we, we get a taste of it, all of us. I received this children's Dove, it's cotton candy scented Dove foaming bath soap, another thing of multivitamins, a thing of garlic powder, um, Russian salad dressing, and black pepper. I received, and I have a kitty cat, but she gave me a thing of dog food and a thing of cat food. Um, I think for one time the dog food should be okay for the kitties to eat. It's wet food, so I shouldn't have an issue with that. Now I'm just going to go down here for a minute and grab this. And this right here in this bag. Hello, sorry about that, I lost you. Okay, so here in this bag, and I know you can't see it very good, it's a bag full of potatoes. And I'm sorry you can't see it, but this large bag I have is half full of potatoes. I received this little mini watermelon. Isn't it adorable? Look at it. It's just adorable. I received a pomegranate. And I'm just going to go over here. Two boxes of mac and cheese. I received this box of jello. And that's Jello cheesecake, the no 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 baked cheesecake. I'm just gonna have to let those go into there. Um, a bag of milk, a bag of rice. Oops, sorry, 
Didn't mean to do that so fast. A bag of long grain rice. A bag of elbow macaroni. Okay, now I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so again, so we got a watermelon, pomegranate. Um, I believe this is a Chinese radish, dan danko, I think is how you say it. A grapefruit. Four lemons. Three plums. Four pears. One, two, three, four, five. There should be six apples. Um, four beets. I think these are guavas, and I have about six guavas. One carrot. Now, I don't know what these are. If someone can tell me what these cute little things are, I would really love to know. Um, and like, can I add them to a stir fry? Or like, how do I cook it? If someone can help me out, I would really, really, really love it to know. Now, underneath all this hiding, and I hope I don't rip it up, I received some cilantro and it's fresh cilantro. Okay, I received one, two, let me go here, one, two, three cucumbers, one huge onion, look how big that is, it's like I can barely lift it, it's huge, like look at that. Um, these are cactus pears, I received six of those. Two huge tomatoes. Like, again, look at these. Like, they're just, they're huge. A great big eggplant. Um, four bell peppers and a bag of mini bell peppers. A dozen eggs. Two things of bagels. Um, now this is a different kind. I think it's seven seeds, um, or poppy seed bread, four scotch buns, a sweet bread. Look at that. It's a sweet bread. It's got some icing sugar stuff on it. And a fo fo fio foca bread. What do you call that? Italian flat bread. Two granola bars. And these two were out of my thing in addition to the bag of, um, I have eight granola bars, eight cookies, and then eight cheese sticks in a bag that's in my backpack. Um, a thing of cottage cheese and eight bananas. So again, this is my food haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will leave in my description as I said um of where to go if you need help um if you need a christmas hamper a snowsuit or a toys um i'll leave the facebook group out that has a list of resources um also th i just want to go over this because it's becoming i don't know what things are like on facebook's where you all are but out here in ottawa and I am a member of the other group as well as the food security group. But people are asking for food and people are like, go to the food bank and they're making excuses up. Well, I've been to the food bank. I can't go for another six months. That's lies. Okay. When people say that they're lying to you, to your face, you see my videos. One person said, oh, I can't go. I can only go every six months to Salvation Army. Um, I know that's not true because I can go every month. Um, like the care center, I can go once a month. My local food pantry, I can go once a month. You know, some pantries give food out every two weeks. Some pantries, which I am on a waiting list for, for a new one, in case, my, for or not in case, but for when mine closes, it's going to be a weekly food bank haul that I'll be doing. And... 
you don't get like as much, but you get enough for three or four days, but you can go every week. So I have, well, I'm on the waiting list for that. Um, and my food pantry referred me over to it because of the situation of them having a threat of closing. Sorry, I just had to check something there. So because of that, um, you know, I'm on the waiting list for that. So with everything that I just said, be cautious. I mean, people are asking for help, but they don't want to go to the, they want to go to the location. The, the lady who I'm speaking about has a vehicle, but she doesn't want to drive and use her gas. She wants it delivered. Well, take a bus. I take a bus. I'm disabled. I can barely see, and I'm going to be progressively losing my eyesight. Um, I can have a difficult time walking. There wasn't snow on the ground. When I started coming back, I started seeing some snow on the ground, but I'm not stable on my feet. I have vertigo very bad. I have a weak knee. I, I lose balance. I'll, I'll, my knee because, and my back, I get shooting pains and stuff. Um, I'm not healthy, but I take it because as a parent, you must feed your children. And when I see these remarks from people saying, well, deliver it. I can't go. You know what? I hate leaving my place, my home. I absolutely do, but I have to because it's called child neglect. And I do not want CAS visiting me for child neglect for no food. Something that's very basic and you can all see what I receive. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say on that one, but I just shake my head because I'm like, you know, and I'm not judging people or anything like that. Everyone's circumstance is different. Not all food pantries are the same, but don't say lies on Facebook to get food. Don't say lies that the, the Christmas hamper program or the toy hamper has closed and they missed the deadlines because that's all lies. I know when they're closed and people are just lying and then there's the gullible people that fall for it. So consider that. Please share this video with people in Ottawa so they're aware that there's a lot of liars on Facebook who are looking for help and the help is there, but they're refusing because they have to go to get help, you know, and just because you want it delivered, you know what, take the two hours there and back. Um, this really should have only taken me a little while, not even an hour, Come like walking there, waiting in line and coming back. But because of the lineup today, it took me... 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. It took me about five hours because that was how long of a line I had to wait. So 15 minutes to walk there, 15 minutes to walk home, usually 30 minutes to wait in line, plus pack my food up and pick my food out and get it ready and then stuff like that. You know, about 30 minutes for that, 20 to 30 so, and that's what happened today because of the lineup. So it tells you how things are depleting economically, how people are starving. Well, I shouldn't say starving, but are hungry. And how people, I don't know if the word is spoiled entitlement, but stop abusing it, really. Um, go to the food pantries if you need help. And don't say that my kids don't eat any of this food. If your kids don't eat bagels and bread, cottage cheese, fruits, vegetables, canned items, meats. I mean, I don't know. My kids will eat whatever's on the table. They've been to bed hungry. Where we're, again, as those of you who've been watching my videos know, we never had anything for about well over a week. I only had flour and my children... And I had a little bit of rice, and that's what we ate.
for over a week. Oh, and we had a couple potatoes. So I was able to make some different things. But through my creativity and then, of course, the internet, looking up recipes, we survived for 10 days. And that's all we had to eat. And that's all they took to school. So my kids are happy. We're happy. We received this food. There will never be a complaint from us because we are so blessed. And with that, I'm just going to say thank you again. Thank you to my local food pantry. Thank you, Ottawa Food Bank. Thank you to all your donors. Thank you to the donors again. Thank you. Whether you donated food or donated monetary funds, thank you for the volunteers for volunteering to help. Thank you for the bus drivers. Thank you to the LTR. Thank you for everyone that was involved. You know, for any of the food pantries I go to. Thank you. And thank you for being a subscriber to my channel. Thank you for just passing through, whether it's the first time or your come and go and stuff. Just thank every single one of you for everything. And thank you for being a part of my life. And I'm going to say bless you, and I'll see you at my next food bank run. Bye-bye.